So day two. Um, today we're gonna try to take off the head, possibly. You gotta take off the intake side, take all that off, get it out of the way, move all the electrical wires, and uh, we should be good to go. Um, everything else is basically off. We took the headers off yesterday and everything. It only took about three hours to do the hood, the bumper, the header, take all that off, take all the intake side off, um, all the at least the filter and whatnot. So, so far so good. Everything's basically easy. Most of it's on clips or brackets. Uh, pretty self-explanatory stuff. So um, we're gonna do that today and see where we go. So enjoy. All right, so what I did next was take off a couple of harnesses. A lot actually. This one was for the, the fuel rail. Which went in there and it easily unclips. Um, from underneath here, there's four. I started unplugging everything. There's absolutely so many. Um, at least I have pictures of everything, how it looks, in case I do forget something. But there's your coils. Everything's on clips. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. Uh, make sure you don't break the clips, though. The way they come out is these pop out, pop down. And you just press on them and you pull it out. Uh, this side is all completed almost. I'm going to repaint the valve cover too. So I'm going to do like a bronzish color, I think. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to do that. Uh, so that's going to come off. I'm trying to just make some space here. Got all that out of the way. Take these vacuums out of the way. Um, kind of give me some room to take my head off. So I'm almost there. Coolant, I'm going to have to drain it a little bit. I'm gonna go find a bucket. Take that out of the way. Get the hose off. Um, kind of noticed I've been always running low on the coolant. Which is weird because my last one did the same thing. So I'm going to try to do change it all around. Um, I'm running Amsoil. Engine oil. I do Amsoil everything. I'm a dealer. I'll post my referral number if you guys want it. Or ask me any questions. I usually can get you a 25% off or something. Um, I'm going to do Amsoil in the engine. I'm going to do Amsoil coolant. I'm going to do Amsoil in the trans, in the differential. I'm going to do absolutely everything I can, all in Amsoil only. Um, it did really good with my last one. Got some good numbers on the dyno. Um, so, yep, there you go. I mean, it's almost there. Um, this part's going to be fun. I have to figure out how to take off all that intake stuff on there. But um, we'll see here in a little bit. Right, fuel rail is out. You got two bolts that are 10 millimeters. And come off right there, right there. And then literally just pops right off. Um, you might have these little rubber grommets. They might come out with it. But um, here you go. I'm just going to leave it off here inside because it's not going to be in my way. You can always unclip it if it is. But um, there goes half of it. So now I'm going to move this out of the way and get the whole intake off of it. That's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from what I see. There might be one more down there. But there's seven bolts holding that on. So that is next. Pulling hose is off. A little bit drained from there. The rest came out of there and I just. Close it off with a piece of napkin. Um, that way nothing else can fall in there. I'm going to drain it out the bottom and then refill it with Amzo coolant once the time comes. But for now, see, not very much. Some crap in there though, so wondering where that came from. That's no good. What's up, Nick? All right, let's see what's next. Move these out of the way. And finally try to get that intake manifold off.
a little progress video. So the valve cover is off. I'm pretty surprised how clean it is. That's what you get when you run AMS oil. Look at that beauty. Very nice. Basically what's next is to take this chain off. I already took the head studs out. Head bolts, which kind of a mistake. I should have done the chain first, but it hasn't fluctuated or anything yet, so that's good. But that's next. So next is you have to grab a 32 millimeter socket. And this is your tensioner right here. Basically you grab it. And then you take it off. It'll be really tight, but that's basically how it's supposed to be. There you go. Then it's supposed to slide straight out. And it's supposed to loosen your belt, your, your chain. Um, I'm trying this so I don't have to take away all my gaskets and gear, gear cover here. So I'm going to try to see if this will work and get the chain out of the way. Um, be careful because there is some oil on there. Maybe even grab a napkin, put it underneath, so you can get oil everywhere. And then take it out, slowly. And there you go, there's your tensioner. Now it's nice and loose. Hopefully that's enough to get it off the, the cams. But we'll give that a shot right now. Okay, the cam sprockets are off. The chain came right off. I did zip, zip tight on the side so it doesn't fall in there. So it's nice and tight right now. Um, I will be holding it on when I take off the head gasket or the head. And hopefully I don't have to take off all the, you know, all of that stuff. Gear gaskets and gear covers to keep it in place, so. Next, we're going to try to take the head off. Uh, probably remove the cams first and then go from there. I'm um, looking to get take the head off right now. I'm draining all the coolant, the oil. We got four more bolts left. There's one, two, three, and four. And these are the star shaped ones. I think that's like an E12, is what they say. But um, regular 10 millimeter works just fine as long as you're being careful. Since I don't have that other socket set right now. But um, so I'll be taking those off right now. And it should be uh, able to lift up. Update on the head. It is off. Pretty dirty. Time to take the head gasket off. And start cleaning the surface. One more thing, the chain, I try to hold the tension on it so it doesn't fall inside, but practically there's no, there's no good way of doing it, so um, either way, the timing gear uh, cover is going to have to come off just to make sure everything's aligned and then set the timing correctly. So this is just a zip tie holding it on. You know, there you go. Hardest part was moving the intake out of the way to get the block off but it came out pretty easy here's the head it's in really good condition from the, from the look of it um, basically you can't hold the tension on the the belt because it has to go through this gap so when you slide it down that's when I lost my tension so unless you have a really good way of holding it up and not having it fall but I don't know if it's really worth the hassle so but there you go